lightjunction.com. Illuminate your world. <laughs> hey everybody, this is Brian from Light Junction uh, coming at you today with a review on a Surefire product called the E2D LED Defender Ultra. So this is a ultra high output two mode uh, the, the, what can be considered tactical or just even an everyday carry flashlight. Uh, we'll go over some of the, the, the specs and features of this light and then I'll show you what's inside the box and what you can, what you can expect to get out of it. Um, the light comes with two Surefire branded uh, primary CR123 lithium batteries so it's ready to go right out of the box. The batteries come pre-installed. Uh, two, two operation modes. On high it's 500 lumens with a 2.25 hour runtime. On low, 5 lumens with, with a 67 hour runtime. <clears throat> so, good, good standard uh, run times and features there. It's got TIR technology, which means it's going to have a really nice, tight spot pattern, but with enough kind of flood and halo uh, to allow your peripheral vision to, to take effect. Um, the length is about 5.6 inches. It is 1 meter waterproof rated. It's also drop and impact resistant. It's got the same aluminum military spec anodized finish that just about all the Surefire lights carry. And it's backed by Surefire's no hassle warranty and promise and everything. Um, so let's get right into what the light is and what you're going to get when you buy this guy. I've already taken it out of the package and it's very simple. You've got the instruction manual and the light itself. So here is what the light looks like, what it comes with. So it's got nice black anodized finished. It comes with a pocket clip, which makes this kind of a good everyday carry option because of its size and everything like that. You can see the tail cap here. It's got a raised, it's got a four point raised system over the tail cap so that this light will stand on its own, even though it is a tail cap button on there. Um, it's got a smooth reflector. We'll see if you can get a good look at that. So we got a smooth reflector on the inside. It's got a crenellated bezel, but this is considered more of an attack bezel. Um, so we've got a total of six points on there, a little bit sharper than some of their other lights. So as far as self-defense goes, this is a small enough light to be able to carry and could be useful in a situation where you needed to do that with. So let's get into the operation. We'll, uh, the, the tail cap here, when, when you run out of battery power, this thing is loaded by unscrewing the body at the head. And then you see that there's two Surefire batteries that come in it. The tail cap is designed to be kind of tail cap operation only. The batteries won't come out the other end. Um, it's a tapered finish so that the batteries can't slip out of the tail cap if you do accidentally loosen it all the way up. So out of the box, tighten the tail cap all the way up to go ahead and get it into operation mode. And then it's very simple how to, how to work this light. <clears throat> half press forward and bright comes on and you can release if you wait more than two seconds or so the next time you press it the bright is still going to come on if you were to press it in succession really quickly it stays bright you can almost kind of do a manual strobe with it um, that can be considered a pretty decent self-defense weapon because that can you know kind of <clears throat> confuse anybody attacker or anybody that you're trying to do that with but to get to the low mode Within two seconds, you press it on high, release, and then press again on a half click, and you get that low output mode. So this is a less blinding mode for navigating at night or doing small close-up tasks. This is much more usable than that is. Trying to do something with this amount of light in a very small area or close proximity would, would be impossible. Um, the light will stay on if you go forward click. So half press. It's on high, forward click, and it stays on. You turn it off. Same thing to get it to stay in moonlight mode. Just continue forward, and then it stays on. There's no memorization. Anytime you turn it off, it's always going to go back to high mode unless you toggle within two seconds of each other. And if you toggle within two seconds, you can go back and forth between the light modes there. Uh, lockout feature is, once again, like a lot of other Surefire lights, you just twist the tail cap counterclockwise and the light will not operate. So it's a very simple kind of fail proof lockout feature. That's it in a nutshell for the E2D Defender Ultra. This guy's got a, a high output lumen rating of 500 lumens. 
It is small size, so and with a pocket clip, this was a good option for an everyday carry light, and you can feel safe knowing that you've got a nice everyday carry light that can also be used in self-defense should you find yourself in a situation where you need that. Like all other Surefire products, they're available on our website at www.lightjunction.com. We welcome and look forward to any questions you have, either by phone call, email, or chat. Uh, definitely take advantage of any offers that are on this video and, and save when you check out. That way you can add this light to your collection without putting a big dent in your pocket. Hope to see you back here soon. We're going to continue to shoot videos. If you guys have any requests for videos you'd like to see, let us know and we'll be happy to accommodate you. Have a good day.